Hey, all you Cancerians out there, how are you doing tonight? Hey, it's Psychic Medium Tammy here, and I wanted to just do your reading. I already shuffled and pulled the cards just to speed up the video a little bit. And um, so I wanted to just give you an overview here. A lot of these cards came up upside down, and it looks like you all might be having a hard day or a hard weekend. I feel like there's a lot of emotions, maybe some sad emotions going on just from the general look of this reading. It, I'm just keeping it real. This doesn't look like the happiest reading I've ever done. And um, I was like, what am I gonna tell all my cancer friends? Because this looks a little hard. Um, first of all, you might be feeling a little sad because you're not feeling well. This is uh, when strength, this is the strength card. When it comes up upside down, it can tell me that you're not feeling strong, you might be feeling sick. Um, and that might be some of what's happening, you know, with some of you at this time. And if not, it may be that you're not feeling your inner strength at this time and you wish you were having more inner strength and more time to spend on yourself and just more inner conviction for some, you know, meeting some of your goals. But don't be too hard on yourself because it looks like a lot of this reading is um, difficult. I think it would be difficult for anybody, you know, really. This is your crossing card. It feels like things, this is the justice card. It looks like things are really out of balance. I, I get this feeling, um, feeling overwhelmed. I feel like a lot of you are really um, just being stretched too thin and things are off balance and you're not feeling well. You know, there's a lot of that going on. Um, the next couple of cards up here, this is having to do with what's in your aura. So there's a lot of disappointment. Like I see you thinking about feeling kind of let down, kind of betrayed by something, a lot of sadness. I think there might be some melancholy and sadness and just kind of hanging, you know, dark cloud kind of hanging over you. And it may, there may be a woman that has not been very nice to you, not been kind at all. This is the Queen of Swords reversed. Um, she can be known as the real bitch card <laughs> and um, Philly, I don't know, these two kind of go together, the sadness and somebody who was, a, you know, woman figure here who gave you a hard time today or recently. Um, one of the big things that I see that seems to be affecting you, this is the hermit card and the hermit's upside down <laughs> like so many of these cards, unfortunately. Just keeping it real, here's your cancer. I just gotta be honest with you. I know you're feeling isolated. You know, when I see this hermit card come up, you're like, oh, spending another Friday night alone or spending Saturday night alone. I got the weekend alone again. I'm feeling isolated and I don't know what to do with myself. And this is just, this is not a happy card. And I think this is some of why the sadness. And some of that, all of that, that I've already mentioned is coming together with this uh, this guy here feeling again upside down, um, feeling really worn, really burnt out. He's worn out. He's been working too hard and you know working really hard and not making much gain. So that can burn you out really fast. I mean, if you're working hard and you're making a lot of money, that's that's great. But if you're working really hard and you're just not making ends meet, which this next card says you're not. This is the Five of Pentacles, and this is having to do, again, upside down. It's having to do with um, trying to stretch money, you know? I mean, it, it gets to be very stressful. And I want to tell you, though, the next card up, thank goodness, is having to do with slow, steady progress. So this is a money card as well. This is your Knight of Pentacles. He's very reliable, very dependable. Um, you know, he works hard, but he, he's, you know slow steady progress and the key word here is progress so even if you feel like you're taking three steps forward and four steps back all the time you know really you're not you are making progress so hang in there and do take really good care of yourselves also this is no this guy's known as the animal lover and the bee healer so i feel like a lot of you cancerians really love animals and be sure to give your dogs and cats a hug They'll make you feel better <laughs> and I hope that isolation ends soon we'll keep a keep an eye on it because sometimes we go through those periods of time where there is isolation and we're supposed to learn inner things from that um, from ourselves and not really be around people and it's a real pain <laughs> it's not a fun phase to go through but it is one of those earth lessons that we seem to get 
So hang in there, Cancer. We'll look and see what's coming for you good next time. But remember, slow, steady progress. Okay, so you're doing good. Hang in there, and I'll talk to you soon.